Today's video is about step two of the multi-generational travel badge. So in this badge, we're learning all about how to travel with both teens and older adults and middle adults like Katie and I, people in middle adulthood. Um, so we've got multi-generations going on this trip. And for step two of the badge, we are learning from others, which includes talking to one of Katie's neighbors who grew up in Austria, but and also colleagues who've been to Germany or German, um, but also learning from each other. So in this badge, we really wanted to highlight um, getting a good sense of where everybody's at before going on the trip. So this is our pre-trip itinerary discussion meeting where we're answering questions, we're talking through the itinerary so that everybody's on the same page. Uh, we recently went on this trip to Germany and Austria and so we used that opportunity to earn this badge. And in this video, you're gonna get to see a little sneak peek behind the scenes of our pre-trip itinerary meeting. So at this meeting, we talked through each day of the trip so that everyone knew what to expect. We answered questions, we took input, we looked up new things to do, um, and you'll see my teenage niece joins us about halfway through the meeting um, and puts in her two cents. She'd been to some of the cities before. So we really took advantage of her prior knowledge and prior um, travel experience in Germany. So I hope you enjoy the video and this little um, look at what our pre-trip travel itinerary meeting looked like. The airport, two hours at a time, which is way more than enough. Slash the recommended amount. Tad, we're leaving at 3 p.m. Sunday. On Saturday? Sunday. On Monday? <laughs> yes. Uh, Monday do you need to join this meeting? But we get in at 9 a.m. and we can't check in until noon. But we can go drop our bags at the hotel and get some food or whatever, hang out. Um, and then basically we just have the one day in Frankfurt because the next day we're going out to Marburg mm -hmm. to see Kiara. Right. So um, we stay there two nights though. We do. Two nights. Yeah, okay. but the second day we're going to be gone all day. Okay. Um, so in Frankfurt, I have all each of these places. I have a walking tour for us, like that we could follow if we wanted to, um, which is the Rick Steves. He just gives you like, here's a, here are the hot things to see in this order if you want to do it. Um, <clears throat> and it actually starts right by the hotel. But if you turn down the long street, you end up at the red light district and the junkies. <laughs> I shouldn't even tell them this. I should only tell you this, Gear mouse. Um, so in Frankfurt, they decided they were gonna clean up the streets by providing a safe, place for people to like shoot up and like clean needles and stuff. Yeah. But that's, um, yeah, don't take the wrong turn because you could be by the junkies. And which is, Rick says is fine. Like, don't, don't be a bad yeah, I would like stuff. to see the red light district because prostitution is legal there. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, so the Little Market Hall, the old town area sounds like what we want to see in Frankfurt. Um, they have that apple wine that Ava said she tried. Um, climb to the top of the main tower. There's good views from there. They also have hop on hop off buses. Um, they have a river boat tour, which I read was kind of boring, <laughs> so I probably don't want to do that. Um, a skyline tour that focuses on architecture, which sounds interesting, but I think we kind of have to figure that out now if we want to do something like that. Um, but the boat tour was one of the things we really liked in Paris and yes, London. But that was a highly recommended thing oh. in Paris, and okay. it was, this is, yeah. So Shelby, what do you remember about Marburg? Uh, I remember it was um, a big college town. There were a lot of like college kids around. It just reminded me of a university campus. Like that's that was the vibe. Of it. I think so. But also Hogwarts. Kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I remember the big castles and the big churches that we saw. Okay. The huge hills. <laughs> fairy tale aspect of it was really cool. All the little statues, right? Yeah, all the little that. statues of the Grim so Runners. What? Yeah, like this? That statue there? Did you spend one day there? or yeah. Did you go there more than once? Well, the statues are of their characters. Oh, yeah. um, oh. We only spent one day there. We just took a tour around the town. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. Well, let's do our last day. So we're already getting down to the bottom here. We can go back and add things, but 
So Munich, we're just in for one day. Yeah, we'll go there nice. from Salzburg and then um, try to make the most of that day. And they have, if we haven't had enough beer, there's more beer halls and beer gardens. There's a big art museum there, Mom, I thought you might like, with different buildings for different types of art. So it seems like in, Munich, Munich. in Nuremberg? In Munich. On Munich still. So. And this one had the nude sunbathers in the park. In Munich. Um, so you can like bike through this park and there are like apparently people naked everywhere. Which would be... Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> could be highly entertaining to be, Yes, I think it would be quite exciting. Um, and it's going to be hot, so we may join them. Um, so then yeah, the next morning our flight is at 10, 10 a.m. So we'll get up and we'll go to the airport. Um, we get back at 1.40 on Tuesday. 1.40 on Tuesday? We arrive back at 1.40? Okay. Todd needs to be there. All right, what questions do y'all have? Lingering concerns? Yeah, what's everyone's thoughts? Shelves? What do we do in the first half of this trip? You don't have to read. Okay. <laughs> Watch the video. You okay. missed that. Um, we're doing Frankfurt and then Nuremberg, which is the medieval city. Mm. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. What about you? I have no questions. You feel good? You want to yeah. add a spa? Well, no. I just, well, it's gonna be 90. We might want to, but. We're just jumping. Whatever. Should we bring a swimming pool? No. We should bring a swimming pool. I mean, <laughs> a bathing suit, no way. I think we should bring a bathing suit. What if we do? We're so hot, we'd like, boy, we wish we'd brought a bathing suit. We could go swimming. Could we go swimming? I don't know. I mean, we have to decide, I guess, right? Like, we're all bringing them or we're not. Right. What do you think? Should we bring bathing suits? I mean, I just got a cute new one. No, so well, well, the rest of the Let's Maybe we should just all bring bikinis because then we don't take up any more room in our suitcase. Right, something yeah. small. Yeah. Yeah. We could do that. Um, and it does seem I like there are bikini. options for that. <laughs> oh, this half lemon soda, half beer thing is supposed to be. That's in Munich. That's supposed to be a thing you have to try. Right. How this big is Germany? It's as big as Minnesota, Montana? Montana. So these are the states. So it's really big, yeah. These are the states. Oh, right, so.